going on my legion? This is Capsony, and today we're going to be doing a discussion video. I know it's quite late, but as many of you know that YouTube has removed the dislike button from the platform altogether. You can still dislike a video, but you will not see the number. And I find this to be, as all most YouTubers that have voiced their concerns, I do not like this. Even before the announcement was made that YouTube are going to be doing it, everyone was basically saying, no, this is a terrible idea, do not do this, this is really bad. And still, sadly, YouTube has gone through with this decision. And I, for one, am going to be voicing my opinion and concerns about this change, which... Uh, which will highly affect the outcome of all channels. ...announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. Sadly though, with the YouTube dislike being taken down, of course, like I said, you can still dislike a video, but only the creator of that channel, the person who made the video, can see it. But you have to look at the analytics for that. Only the creator of the video. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. I mean... I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not. It does. It does help us see to video. For example, I've been struggling with my headphones recently because I'm hearing like a crackling noise in my ear quite, quite, quite lately. Hearing a crackling. I think it's due to the wires, but like, I was wondering like, how do I fix this issue? So I went onto YouTube to help look for tutorials on how to do it. And you know what I found? I had to go through at least seven videos to try and find out what this crackling thing is. I had to go through seven tutorials because I didn't know what it was about. It had like what it was, it was like saying the title and the description and everything. And when I looked at it, it was completely off topic. It was completely like what I wasn't looking for. And I couldn't tell what it was because of the like and dislike ratio. And honestly, it was just, I was just like, okay, this is good. I went through the whole thing. It just completely wasn't on top of it. I was like, I just wasted my time. Apparently, groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. Really? Yeah, uh, like, so, like, okay then. Let's go over to my channel and let's have a look at the analytics. As you can see here, we have 100%, 100%, 100%, 4 dislikes, 0 dislikes, 8 likes, 1 dislike, 10 likes, 0 dislikes, 955 likes, 13 dislikes, 10 dislikes, 0, 100%, 100%. See, most of my videos rarely have any dislikes. Very rarely. Like, that's the thing that's damaging for small creators. Like, as you saw there, a few videos had a few, like, less than 10 likes. A few of them had multiple likes. Some of them had... Even like you said, nearly a thousand likes. Each like is extremely important to a channel channel's growth and a channel's perspective. Like if you saw like if like you're new say if you're a new person and you see that video with four likes, and you wouldn't probably mostly would people think like, oh, this is a bad video because it only has four likes, but no dislikes. But given how I'm a small channel at the moment. Like, you're, you're, it's common to see very few likes at the start, and the likes help you grow. The more likes you get, the more comments, the more subscribers, the more up a channel grows like that. And for the YouTube to take away the dislike ratio, the dislike counter, it actually can be very damaging to smaller creators, which is absolutely awful. Like, I'm reading a comment here from Plant Beastwood. It's just another example of YouTube higher-ups being so out of touch with reality that they actively make decisions that harm creators instead of protecting them. See, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I believe. Like, like I said, like small. I'm a small channel. I'll only get a few likes. I only get a couple of likes per video and everything. And if a new, say, a new person comes along and sees that many likes, they will just not be interested. That's the harm it's gonna do. Another comment from Zelda Princess Girl 100, quite foolish of them, it only opens room for bad videos. That is true, like I said, I went over to a new tutorial thing to try and find out what these headphone things were. I went through seven videos to find the video that I needed the most. Next common question, if creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment 
if the account isn't visible to the public. And like, I understand, like, it could be embarrassing to have a load of dislikes on a video, but, like, there's, there's usually people that dis just dislike whatever. You're always going to have people that dislike what you do, like, all the time. Like, that's the part of life. That's how part of YouTube. That's part of what makes a person grow. Like, say if I went straight into, say, I don't know, I'm thinking of something in my head right now. Say if I went into just looking at drinks. Say if I just st stared at a drink all day for like 10 minutes. And people would dislike it, of course. Like me just staring into this drink. Yeah. D dislikes constantly if, it was con if I was just constantly staring at the bottles in every video. I would know to go away from that. Which is why that like with me, I'm doing variety content. Multiple different types of content. Gaming videos, reactions, memes. Stuff that... A lot of people do enjoy. Everyone loves games, reactions, and memes. <laughs> One more common question. Is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? No. <laughs> oh, it is. It is definitely because of YouTube Rewind. Definitely because of that. <laughs> you do know that YouTube Rewind holds the record for the most disliked video of all time. Is it because the next YouTube Rewind you wouldn't be able to see the dislikes? Hmm? Maybe? Yeah. This again is about protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. It makes it so it protects all creators and succeed when doing so. Well, for like a small channel like myself, it's not going to do very good, is it? Not going to do very well. Like I said earlier on, like if you're a new chat person and you come see my channel and you see you see less than 10 likes and no dislikes, you might think, oh, it is very, it's very bad. I'll not watch Capson anymore. But to those who do watch my content and you know the type of person I am, of course, you know I do like a lot, like all these things, games, reactions, memes, you know the type of person that I am and I've grown, I've grown with. And I'm hoping to some, uh, someday make a good name for myself and help out other people as, al as along the way as well. But all in all though, like, a lot of people are saying, like, uh, even the biggest YouTubers on the platform are saying that they don't think this is a good idea. And yet, sadly, YouTube is just not listening and, like, they just, well, they just want to keep on doing what this is. And it's just, it's just not good. Another example is that they even, like, cause now you can't see the dislikes. You can't see videos that are absolutely awful. Like, there are some YouTubers, I will not say their names, who've done some bad things. And with their vi some of the, they do, like, a, a video about said issue. Well, you can't see their dislikes anymore. And I've seen them myself, the dislikes on there bef before they're taken down. So now you would think it's, oh, that's a good video, but it's not. I'm hoping that YouTube will hopefully, I don't think it would happen, I, I'm just hoping that they would reverse the dislike, actually show the dislike things, because they think it's going to help out, it is not going to help out, and especially to a small creator like me, it's really going to damage it, but I'm not going to give up on my journey to become a YouTuber, I'm, this isn't going to slow me down, I'm going to continue making content, doing what I love, and making videos, making you guys happy, and providing some sweet entertainment. <laughs> but anyway, those are my thoughts and opinions on this whole YouTube dislike removal crisis. I hope you all enjoy this. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to comment on your thoughts and opinions on this. And be sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you all in the next video soon, my legion is. Stay awesome. This is Capson, signing off. <laughs>